Hello students. In this video, we will see the solution of question number 33. Okay. So you can see here that uh, PPK Limited has uh, forfeited 1000 shares of rupees 10 each. Okay. 8 rupees called up. So uh, look at this value rupees 8 called up. So by this called up money, we understand that the um, entire nominal value of a share has not been called. I mean, the entire 10 rupees has not been called only 8 rupees has been called up okay and uh, the shares are forfeited for the non-payment of allotment money of rupees 5 per share including um, the premium of rupees 2 okay so the entry for this forfeiture will be equity share capital account debit securities premium reserve account debit to share allotment to share forfeiture now you should know that whenever the allotment money includes your premium money also okay so uh, if there is a calls in area okay in time of allotment when it includes spr also so the spr should be debited here okay because we are not receiving the spr money okay so allotment money was rupees 5 per share okay out of which uh, rupees 2 was included of your premium okay so uh, to share allotment here it will be 5 rupees okay and here it should be 2 rupees for SPR okay and you will uh, get the amounts as it is you can see that okay and uh, the shares are uh, reissued at rupees 7 okay as rupees 8 called up so uh, the share they were called up to rupees 8 and uh, when they were reissued again I mean the forfeited shares are being reissued again so the shares are reissued at rupees 7 okay so you can see that the shares are uh, reissued below the called up price okay so whenever the shares are reissued below the called up price or below the nominal uh, price share forfeiture account will always be debited here okay so this is how you can get the profit okay but here what is happening is that 1000 shares were forfeited but only 800 shares are being reissued so we need to see the working note so in working note you can see here that this amount 5000 as you can see here this 5000 money is to, uh, is for 1000 number of shares so we have to calculate for one number of share okay so for one for one share it is rupees 5 so 800 shares are being reissued here okay so let us see the amount for 800 shares it should be 4000 now 4000 minus 800 would be how much 3200 so this 3200 is the profit on reissue of 800 shares okay so the remaining balance that is 5000 okay this 5000 uh, this 5000 minus 4000 okay it will be 1000 so uh, 200 shares are not reissued right so this money 1000 it actually represents the amount of uh, balance of uh, this forfeited amount okay for uh, for 200 shares 